With a petition presented to the West New Britain provincial government over bad roads in Hoskins LLG, the governor sought answers today in parliament. He confirmed that roads are in need of repair. Mr. Deputy Speaker, I've been given a petition by people from Hoskins also to address some of these worst affected uh, roads. And uh, Mr. Speaker, this is always a challenge that the people say that we attend to these matters. Why in the last minute is it because of election and all? But we have been doing this work from day one since we have taken office. So I, I would uh, appeal to Prime Minister that if he can give prioritize uh, and release the funding meant for this national road in West New Britain. The Prime Minister said road is a very vital agenda for the government. He says roads in Kimbe and other areas will be funded and upgraded. Uh, this year, whatever funding is budgeted for, we, we will, uh, each program, it will be released as, uh, as budgeted. So, Miggy Masurin's long uh, governor, Lord Isla Road. But having said this, uh, Milag also indicated him long governor. So, Kimbe, go long, uh, go long Kokobo, this highway stretch, I think first 40 or so kilometer, there's a contract issued for that stretch of road also. It's an important economic corridor. We acknowledge the economic contribution of that part of our country and that road will be given its fair consideration. In a published report, Governor Mutuvel said roads are falling apart. He also confirmed that one million kina has been paid to contractors to seal critical roads in the province. Late last year, the Prime Minister visited Kimbe with promises to fix roads in Kimbe and Oskins. Jack Lopava Jr., National MTV News.